The DNA Subway Blue Line is for DNA barcoding and phylogenetics. You can use the Blue Line to analyze DNA or protein sequence. Analyze DNA barcoding sequence to identify plant, animal, and fungal species. Generate phylogenetic trees and publish the sequence to GenBank. In this demo task, we'll identify sample student sequences. We'll create a project, examine sequence quality and build consensus sequences, generate blast matches and add additional sequences, align sequences and visualize DNA barcodes, and finally create phylogenetic trees. In order to get started, please log in to DNA Subway. You can do this directly from the iPlant homepage, or by going directly to dnasubway.iplantcollaborative.org. If you have an iPlant account and have requested access to DNA Subway, simply enter your iPlant username and password. You can also enter as a guest. However, as a guest, your work will not be saved. Click the blue square to begin a project. Select RBCL for barcoding project. Select CSH High School October 2010 for sample sequence. Name the project, add any required description, and click continue. Click Sequence Viewer to examine sequence quality. Click Sequence Trimmer to automatically trim ends from the sequence. Click Sequence Trimmer again to examine results. Click Pair Builder and then click Try Auto Pairing to pair forward and reverse sequence reads. Click Save. Click Consensus Builder and then click again to examine consensus sequences. Click Trim Consensus and trim any low quality sequence. Click Blast N, and then click Blast for any sequence you wish to examine. Examine the blast hits and check any hit to add to the project. Click Add Blast Hits to Project to save.
Click Add Reference Data and select Common Plants. Click Add Ref Data. Click Select Data and click Select All. Click Save Selections. Click Muscle to generate an alignment. Click again to visualize results. Click Trim Alignment to trim and flush alignment. Click File Up NJ and File Up ML. Click again to examine results. Need more help? Visit the iPlant user form at ask.iplantcollaborative.org.